Initiate radar. Hello, my loves. It is such a pleasure to speak with you. I bring you this delightful message on behalf of the Venusians and Venarians, the people from the planet Venus, we are your celestial neighbors in your solar system. As your celestial neighbors, we like to come over from time to time, to borrow a cup of sugar, if you know what I mean. Many people of Earth do not know about the Venusians and Venarians, this is because physically, we look just like the humans of Earth. Both Earthlings and Venusians are from the same solar system, so you can't expect us to have evolved to look that much different. In fact, Earthlings and Venusians are rather compatible, and we have been mixing in and breeding with Earthlings for thousands of years. You Earthlings find the physical appearance of us Venusians and Venarians to be quite sensual and erotic. Physically, the women from Venus are very curvy and beautiful, full-bodied, with wide child-bearing hips, and big butts, the infamous pear shape, soft and voluptuous, with seductive curves. Venusians and Venarians have round oval faces, with very expressive eyes, and dark hair and skin. The original people of Venus looked much like the original people of Earth, they were black people. Thousands of years ago on planet Venus, a calamity befell our planet making the surface of the planet uninhabitable. Some of the original people of Venus escaped the calamity and came to Earth, and settled in southwest Africa to become the Khoikhoi, and Nama, tribes. When these female African Venusians traveled to Europe, they were worshipped as gods. Venusians were called Lahamu by the Sumerians, Ishtar by the Babylonians, and Ashtaro by the Hebrews. Female African Venusians who were worshipped by Europeans were given the names Venus and Aphrodite. This is why the name Aphrodite sounds so much like Africa, because Aphrodite was an African Venusian. Years later in the 19th century, another female African Venusian from the Khoikhoi tribe named Sarah Bartman, traveled to Europe to be worshipped, and was given the name, Hot and Tot Venus. Those Venusians and Venarians who could not come to Earth to escape the calamity, had to move beneath the inner surface of Venus where there are large underground cities and structures where people still live to this very day. Over time, the original people of Venus who moved into the underground cities, their skin would become lighter due to the lack of exposure to the sun. Today, many of the Venusians and Venarians have tan to olive skin complexions, with thick wavy to straight black hair. We appear like the Latinos, Spanish, Italians, and Middle Easterners of the Mediterranean race on planet Earth. However, one distinguishing feature of the people from Venus is that we do not have fingerprints. When male Venusians and Venarians come to Earth, they are usually scientists and leaders of people. This is why in your Earth mythologies, the goddess Venus was married to the blacksmith scientist deities Vulcan and Mars, and in Greek mythology, Venus, as Aphrodite, was married to the blacksmith deities Hephaestus and Ares. This is because those early African Venusian women were married to blacksmith African males. The goddess of love and sex, married to the god of science, technology, and war. In your Earth mythologies, both Vulcan and Hephaestus are related to the Norse blacksmith god named Thor, whose wife is named Sif, and there is also a volcano on the planet Venus named Sif. This is why one of the Venusian males who visited your planet in the 1950s was named Valiant Thor. When tall blonde Nordic beings from Aldebaran came to planet Earth, and met with the late President Dwight Eisenhower, and asked America to lay down their arms, it was the Venusian Valiant Thor who met with the President in the Pentagon, and told him not to trust the people from Aldebaran. This is why there has always been a conflict between blondes and brunettes. Another famous Venusian male who visited and lived on planet Earth was the scientist Nikola Tesla. Whenever we Venusians and Venarians have come to Earth, we have always been elevated to high positions amongst you. You may have noticed that I have used the terms Venusian and Venarian both to describe people from Venus, but you may have wondered what distinguishes a Venusian from a Venarian. It all goes back to an ancient conflict where a Venusian male and female couple named Lucifer and Lilith, had obtained lofty high positions amongst the people of Earth, which made some Earthlings jealous, so they decided to demonize the people of Venus. This is why the planet Venus is called the Bright Morning Star, and is associated with Lucifer and the Devil on Earth. This is also why the pentagram star orbit of the planet Venus around the Sun as seen from Earth, has become associated with the Devil, and why in your Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 verse 12 it says, how you have fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the bright morning star. However, the people of Venus want to make love, not war. Jesus was also from planet Venus, this is why in your Bible, in the book of Revelations, chapter 22 verse 16, Jesus says, I am the bright morning star, referring to the planet Venus. Venus is about love, and Jesus is love. The difference between Venusians and Venarians is that, Venusians are peaceful people of Venus who only want oneness, love and delight. Venarians are the people of Venus who were demonized by Earthlings, 
and venerians make war by making love, spreading venereal diseases and STDs, when they have sex. There's a thin line between love and hate. I know you may be shocked, astonished, and astounded that humanoid extraterrestrials from the planet Venus have been walking and living amongst you on Earth. Even if the person has parents from Earth, they may have been implanted on Earth or switched at birth with a baby from Venus. Some famous people from Venus who lived on Earth are, Carl Sagan, Casey Kasem, Dick Clark, Elizabeth Taylor, Elvis Presley, Nikola Tesla, Susan Lucci, Fard Muhammad, Sofia Vergara, Kim Kardashian, Venus de Milo, John Travolta, Bill Pullman, Val Kilmer, and the author George Adamski described a woman from Venus he met named Dolores Barrios. Also, the tennis-playing Williams sisters, Venus and Serena, are black women from Venus. The Venusians only want to make love, not war. This is why the astronomical symbol for the planet Venus is the Egyptian Ankh, which is a symbol for life, but also is representative of a woman's vaginal canal, fallopian tubes, and womb. Many of the dark-haired olive-toned people in ancient Egypt were Venusians, this is why the second highest mountain and highest volcano on the planet Venus is called Ma'at Mons, named after the Egyptian goddess of truth Ma'at. We Venusians only want to make love. We want oneness. We mix in and breed with all the races on Earth so that in time, we will have produced one race, a neutral race of neutrinoids, where you can't tell the person's nationality, a new race, for the new age. People like Tiger Woods, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Boris Kocho, Bob Marley, Halle Berry, Vanessa Williams, Alicia Keys, Mariah Carey, and President Barack Obama. Not only will this be the new face of America as shown in the November 1993 edition of Time magazine, but it will be the new face of the planet Earth. This is why the Venusian Kim Kardashian has primarily been with men of a race opposite to her own. In time, we will all be one. Don't you just love it? Love and light to you all. From Venus, the bright morning star.